Kundi, good morning. Thank you for joining us. My sincere compliments on the way Amul has managed to uh, really navigate this lockdown. Uh, our ground report is clearly indicating that there is no shortage of milk and you and your staff have gone out of the way to ensure that uh, the milk supplies are not, uh, are not challenged or they are not uh, disrupted. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, in fact, <laughs> in milk, it is a situation from a expected shortest to a situation a lot of plenty milk everywhere. In fact, uh, after this lockdown, the first three days there was a panic buying and people were feeling that there would be a shortage of milk or milk products and everybody started buying. But after three days, totally reverse happened. And uh, in fact, demand declined by around 30%. And today also, and then basically because of people had purchased uh, more during the this panic buying, especially of milk, then uh, the one impact which is really causing a lot of impact to dairy industry is closure of these hotel, restaurants, and tea shops. Because these, this segment used to consume around 12 to 15 percent of the total milk consume, consumption. And uh, that is not there. And third sector, which is a new, is this uh, migration of people from bigger urban centers like Delhi, Bombay, Ahmedabad, Calcutta to the uh, rural India. So milk consumption declined. There is a lot of milk. But now gradually it is picking up. Now if you see Amul said, which had declined on last Thursday by 30%, today we are just around 12% lower than the average sale. I feel in the coming time it will go up. But problem is coming at the farmer's end. Because in some states, farmers are not funding buyers. And the price paid to the farmers in case of some states like Maharashtra, UP, Haryana, or uh, other places, Rajasthan, the price to farmers have declined by 5 to 9 rupees per liter. No doubt, cooperatives are still buying at the same price, but the private or small players or the ice cream makers who were buying milk from the farmer, they are stopped because they don't know what to do with their milk. So this is a very difficult situation for the farmers because the uh, Feed prices have gone up and the milk prices have started going down. Okay. Now, for next two weeks, how are you geared up to deal with the lockdown? And last time when we spoke, you had indicated that, look, you have enough packaging material availability for two weeks, but the lockdown is for three weeks. Do you think you will be able to manage the milk supply chain and the milk demand? Well, I don't foresee any problem from packaging point of view also because the Ministry of Home Affairs notification has already come that all the packaging materials and the transportation of packaging materials also classified under the essential services. So our uh, packaging materials factories are also started. Uh, in fact, uh, for the packaging field which is being used for the fresh milk, we have got our own plant. So we get granules from Reliance and we pack, uh, make our own film and uh, dispatch it all over India. So that is the problem. But I foresee problem in the logistic of movement of lorries because of, uh, no doubt, uh, government has announced and uh, they have allowed movement of uh, trucks with the essential products like food or milk. But problem is coming. Uh, there are three problems. One is the empty lorries are not allowed to move. So once you send the full truck, how, when you come back, that is not coming. Second, lakhs of drivers have abandoned their vehicles. Well, you see, these drivers are traveling 1,000, 2,000 kilometers taking lorries. And they found that when they are going back to their houses, their villages are not allowing them. And they are saying, they are ostracizing them that uh, you may be carrying corona. So a lot of drivers have abandoned vehicles on the roadside, dhabas or the restaurants or the petrol van with the loaded goods. So that is a problem. Third is because, you see, it is uh, in the trust that no doubt 50% trucks may be used by the food industry or the milk. Other industry is also using trucks. So those trucks are lying unloaded outside the industry or outside the warehouses of these industries. So until and unless those trucks are unloaded, and for that there is a labor problem. The bigger cities, 
we are not able to get more labor more than 25 to 50 percent of the required labor. So unloading of these loaded truck is a problem. Until these trucks are unloaded, you can't load them again for dispatching hours. So, but my fourth is the problem in the movement of goods because of the unavailability of the trucks and the labor. So they just request you to stay on with us. Just request you to stay on with us. We also have Mr. Sangam Chaudhary. He is the managing director at Mother Dairy Fruit and Vegetable. Uh, thank you so much for uh, joining in, Mr. Chaudhary. Uh, you know, we were just hearing out Mr. Sodhi of Amul telling us about some of the problems that they are seeing. Uh, you know, with respect to the uh, unloading of trucks, the kind of labour problem as well. Can you just give us a sense as to how the last ten days and one week has been with respect to the kind of panic buying and have you too faced some of these issues? I think uh, uh, welcome and good morning to every one of you, including uh, Sodhi Saab. Uh, I think this story is not very different, but fortunately, you see, India had a lead time. You know, we we did anticipate something of this kind coming, and we we were prepared to have a contingency plan. So. Um, uh, the sub while the supply to the uh, metro metro cities is not a problem, we have been geared up. We have uh, sufficient uh, supply in the pipeline. We have uh, packing material till few days. Now that the things are opening up, uh, we are arranging the further packing material. But I fully agree that the challenges of logistic trucks. Uh, secondly, the manpower. You know, we've been motivating people to stay. Uh, there has been a lot of uh, people who have left and the workers who are scared to keep them together uh, is, is uh, posing a great challenge. And also the farmers are facing a major problem in terms of surpluses because a lot of operators have stopped, either stopped or not taking enough milk from farmers. So the story is almost the same. Tell me. Right. Um, so, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Sodhi, just want to understand. Um, you know, how is it that you're looking to tackle this overall problem? Is there some sort of a relief measure that you would want to see uh, being undertaken in order to try and curtail some of these labor issues as well? Let me tell you, uh, welcome Sangram also. You see, this problem is not coming for the liquid milk because liquid milk tankers are allowed and uh, there is no problem in movement of the price. This problem is coming only in the value added products like uh, butter, cheese, milk powder, tetra pack milk. This is the problem. I foresee that in coming time, uh, this problem will gradually sort out because as far as the labor is concerned, we have started giving them more incentives. So, because in some areas we are, there are labor camps which got, uh, different uh, state governments are organized. So, why not get labor from these labor camps? So, that is the problem. For the transportation, we are trying to help the transporter that what help you want in movement of your MT because we are talking to the state government. So, I think gradually the government, the state government is understanding and uh, things should sort out. There can be some problems. One question for you. While up until now, and you know, hats off to Mr. Sodhi as well as your leadership that we are getting the basic and essential supplies so far. Uh, how much of it is inventory, and what is then the visibility that you have on fresh supply? Because it seems from our channel checks that it's fresh supply, uh, you know, which is going to run out in the next two weeks, or inventory levels rather are going to run out in the next two weeks, and then fresh supply would be the challenge. Distilleries are facing problem. Of course, we have packing material, some dedicated packing material, like uh, Amul has a, their own factory. We have a subsidiary company supplying us to uh, packing material. So we have dedicated supplies, but then corrugated boxes, there are packing uh, paper, paper uh, cups and other things. These are going to be a problem because their labor also has uh, not available and we are facing a problem in restarting the whole cycle i'm more worried about the people coming back after these lockdown but then most of most people must understand that the more the discipline 
better we will be prepared and uh, sooner we will come out of, of this so i think you must convey to people that if people follow the discipline which has been um, advocated by the uh, prime minister and every one of us i think will be much better to handle this crisis of course the situation is very complex and the logistics is posing so much of uh, challenge to us but i think uh, as we have managed for last two weeks uh, we will will we are prepared to manage it further Okay, Mr. Sodri, Mr. Chaudhary, thank you so much, both of you, for taking the time out and giving us an on-ground picture. Of what is the status really on availability of basic essentials like dairy products as well as uh, fresh fruits and vegetables? It seems that fresh supply. Uh, during the days to come is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Samir Narayan